DebitFX event handlers are very useful when you have a lot of emitters that you would like to emit at the same time or um, if you want uh, some emissions to happen at a certain point or according to a certain uh, condition and I would like to show you these examples now so let's just create we have one emitter here already create another emitter like here and uh, another emitter here this whoop. all right and now I want these two emitters for example to start emitting oh, let's move them down a little I only want them to emit something or let's let's say smoke uh, when this smoke has passed a certain a certain point in space so what I do now is I create an event handler here and I Set it to box or like this. Turn it fifty. All right. So I assume that the smoke that is moving downwards will hit the uh, the shape of the emitter. Uh, I reduce this Oop. like so. All right. So I go now into the events tab and I can say if smoke gets inside the volume then these two will also emit the according amount of smoke that is in here inside the volume. So if we got well let's say 50% of that space filled with smoke we will have 50% emission of these two emitters. Well, that is the plan. So let's just tell them to emit a real amount of smoke and let's also use this for a temperature. And what we also set now is the dependency inside of the emission settings. And we can see now the event handler in this list and we select it. So there's no smoke now because there's no smoke inside the event handler volume. And I do the same for the emission of temperature. Well, now I play simulation and let's have a look how this looks like then. Ah, oh, there you go. So you can see that these two other emitters started emitting when the smoke got inside the volume of uh, the event handler. There you go. Alright, so this is one scenario you can uh, control uh, other emitters by simply using one event handler. So this saves time and keyframing time and timing them all and it's better for the overviewer without keyframes, etc. So it's uh, really comfortable to work with and let's just take another example I delete the other two emitters and then I keep the event handler and my smoke emitter so but I change this to box well let's also make it 250 and the event handler I change to a sphere. Of course you can also use any polygon object uh, for all the detections of the event. Alright and so what I do now is I change I change the type of event to well let's say voxel distance. So the distance from the event handler to any of the grid cells so voxels will be taken account into account. I can set a ratio like this so going to the emitter 
smoke set the dependency again to event handler here we have no emission now here go into the event handler oh we still got emission sorry that was my fault I got in with the reaction so the nearer it comes the event handler the more smoke will be emitted so I just do this here swoop and then when I move now my event handler in here it will only generate smoke inside of this particular volume Whoop. so I can that way define emission zones easily and without any keyframing uh, start the emission when the event of of type voxel distance happens or any other event so they're very helpful uh, in constructing more complex setups and this is the bit of facts